Today I'm having tea at Odessa Bay with world-renowned fashion critic and journalist Diane Pronet. Welcome, Diane. Okay, gotta interview her. <laughs> Just got to interview her. I was like, yeah, that's why I was like, I saw you. I was like, okay, do I know this person? <laughs> Just like call the side of shaded view because it's my my filter. And I think what's interesting is to get behind the scenes of things and to make fashion more democratic. And also I like to feed people. Whether it's a, an old film, a new film, music, art, things I see that I think could inspire people. I read you get like something like 30,000 in a month, is that right? No, it's 160,000. Sorry. I'm based in Paris, the Sunday Fashions. The Paris film is immensely present. We have more independent cinemas here than anywhere. Um, so I decided to do it as an extension of the blog and call it a shade of view fashion film when I launched it in the end of September because you were there. And then it went to um, um, a low battery <laughs> I can't say I can go anywhere. Like I don't see Louis Vuitton asking me backstage. But um, I never tried out. I think I just like it's a city where you can walk around and it's most beautiful. And I've been here for more than 18 years. And it's really never stops to amaze me. Like walking by Pont Alexander, for instance, and that place is amazing. Or even, you know, when I was offered to do my screening at um, Place de la Concorde at the Gilles de Pont, I was like, my God, I love that. Like when you enter Paris day or night and you just drive through the Concorde. It's amazing, really. And just the lifestyle, it's more human. Well, where we are right now is a favorite canteen, the Juzebe, across from the African Museum. I like Palais de Tokyo. I love to go to Torai, it's a Japanese tea. I love tea. So I like I'm always in tea salons. Well, I think I'm already there. <laughs> If I have to grow up anymore, what would I be a hundred? I don't know. I mean, I'm quite happy with where I am. Comfortable in my own skin. I like that. I made this little piece, mm -hmm. and I, I need your opinion on it, okay? So hang on. So this is my little waistcoat, okay? Mm -hmm. It's quite sweet. You think so? Yeah. It's got like like this, and I didn't quite know what to do with it, so I, I left it. Coming off. Yeah, but I thought it could make like a nice chain, like this, and then and then have feathers coming out to, to give the extra burlesque plume effect. Right, right. Because I'm to go into the bathroom and slip it over. Is this a dinner? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Four, three, seven, one, eight, zero, four, three, seven, one, eight, zero. This is my friend Mary, the designer. Hello, hello. You could ask her opinions. <laughs> Amazing, fantastic, really nice. Oh, thank you. See, who knows? You might have a future. <laughs> I'm glad Diane thinks that's funny. <laughs> I think it's fun when you make clothes to express yourself, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what it should be about. First, you have to please yourself and then see if it goes beyond, you know, that immediate distance. <laughs> yeah. I just want to be alone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Five seven eight zero zero eight one three five. From this time, unchained, we're all looking at a different picture through this new frame of mind. 
This is fabulous. Thank, Thank you so much for being um, on Paris Popcorn. And, uh, and that's all. A thousand flowers could bloom. Move over and give us some room. Give me a reason to love you. Give me a reason to be a woman. I just want to be a woman. Hi, this is Diane Pernay, and you're watching Paris Popcorn.